On this week on Cars and Things Restos, we put that diff into the tough state -o. Welcome back to Cars and Things Restos. Yeah. Today's the day. Uh, Mick's coming out to give me a hand. We're going to stick our 346 diff with the torque locker center into the Stato and get it ready for the uh, upcoming Davison Motor Group Summer Series Street Drags, uh, the final round, and it's for money this time. So uh, the Last three rounds have been prep uh, for the for the last round, and there's prize money. Um, oh, I probably won't get nothing, but you know what? Who cares? We'll just uh, really what we wanted to do was change the diff out because of the uh, uh, LSD starting to go in it, and it's not hooking up. Um, so we're going to try this true true torque or torque locker diff out, diff center out, and see if it works. We'll probably second shit at you. But anyway, let's let's get it in there and we'll take it for a drive and see what it feels. Alrighty. So the first thing I'll probably do is rip the exhaust off it, which is pretty easy because it's only held on with one bolt up here, holding it there, and the uh, it's got uh, just a rubber there. So I might take the whole thing off. We don't need it, it's just excess weight. And if we want to beat Ruben. We needed to get the weight out of it. Um, but in saying that, I do want to drive it on the road to test it, so I need to put the exhaust back on it. But that's all right. We'll get that back in and get it sorted. All right, so what I've got to do is undo this mount here, uh, let it hang down, undo the uh, tail shaft and undo the drive shafts here, and then there's four bolts. You can see one mount there get up there there's four bolts one up there uh, two on each side one at the back there one just there and uh see if we can get in there and uh undo it and drop it down shouldn't be too big a deal uh we'll get it sorted Uh, okay, so uh, it's all loose. I've got the bolt out, uh, or nearly. I just got to undo that one and one on the other side. So as you can see, when we undo these, it lowers it, allows you to get up in there to undo them four bolts. Makes a little life a little bit easy. Um, so what I've been going on this for now for what time is it? Nearly just uh, about three quarters of an hour, um, and it's virtually out. So it's not a big job. Um, but, alright, so it's that time of morning, I'm going to go and have some smoker. Alright, this 
bloke's just turned up. There you go, bud. Half day work already done. So it's out on the ground. Now we're just going to undo that mount, put that onto the other diff, undo the flange, and then I've got to put it on there and put the new nut on it, tighten it all up, and then we'll fill it with oil before we put it in. And I might fucking tap these holes out too, because they look a bit grotty. We'll do that. Alrighty, so we've just put the new flange and new nut and tension that up and we put our uh, locks here on. Uh, this one here, we had to tighten it up a bit more, didn't we, because it wouldn't mm. line up. Put our rear bush in, ready to go in. Alright, let's stick her in the car, Mickey. <laughs> So we put it in today. and we just pulled it back out again. Uh, we got three good threads and this shred it just tore out. So I'm going to have to uh, put a different bolt in it or we get a helicoil for it. Pissed off. Anyway, here's what it is. Cut a good thread in it. Oh, you blow them all out then, Mick. Blow them all out. Blow that off too. Yeah. Yeah, that lift, that lift. Now we're going to have to cut that down to the same length as that. Can we go and do that? Oh uh, yeah you can. So cut it down to that because I want to put a washer. Because see how the shank, I just don't know. Hang on. I just don't know how far it's going to screw. Yeah, we're going to have to drill that crap. Pushing that cave in there too. Yeah, you probably will. <laughs> Cause that's a 12 mil bolt. It looks like that you see it's going in it. I doubt it. Yeah, we're going. We'll go through it. Oh, okay. All right, this is how, we'll stick it through from the top, see how much that the flange comes down through. All right, so we need washers. Yeah, so the whole lot's shredded, that's what you're saying, aren't you? Yeah, let me quick make your mic work. What the fuck's going on here? It's a different size, guys. Don't put your dirty hands on me clean shirt. <laughs> you fucking silk. You do it then. What are you doing? You know what you're doing? Yes. Up or undoing? Doing it up. Look like you're undoing it. All right, guys. What's going on here? All right, guys. Um, I, uh, sorry, I didn't film putting this in. Because um, I'm stupid, sorry. Um, so it's all back in, all tightened <laughs> up. Um, we've got it all in. We've got that new... It was a 14 mil bolt we put in that, now 12, and we, we recut a thread in there, 14 mil bolt, and uh, that's all got good, uh, it's all locked up tight, it ain't going to move because if we get, if it hooks up, we don't want it ripping the threads out of them. You've got to put three in it, you just, that's just rough anyway, isn't it Mick? So, yeah, next job is, going to put that back on it, so we can take it for a drive and make sure. It's all good. Alrighty. Alrighty. So there we go. All back on, Mick. Yep. Looking the goods. Billy. Just got to do this, yep. this up to it. We'll do the job, grind it down so we can take it for a drive on the road without the uh, waking the whole neighbourhood up, drawing any attention to us, eh, hey, Mick? I mean, you love it. Not on the road, I don't. You I do. can do without that. Do without with that. Oh, looking good. Alrighty. Oh, yeah, we're uh, we're test, test run to see if this diff makes any noises. Move.
windows up. See if you can hear windows don't open. She's back up in the air. Just checking for oil go leaks. And it's looking pretty good. Might have done a good job here, Mick. Only one drama that I noticed was the... Um, I could hear the exhaust hitting on something. Oh, this there. Look, this there, Mick. See? Oh, that's nothing. Yeah, that's what was rumbling. But who gives a shit because it's coming off anyway for the drag, so... Oh, good. Got to be happy with that. Love this old girl. For a big heavy old fucking boat, ship, eh, Mick? Thanks. Does alright. Alrighty. There we are. Diff installed. M80, uh, 3.46 diff ratio. In, the, in it with the torque lock, or torque, uh, torque locker, uh, center diff. Um, it uh, seems pretty good. So anyway, we'll test it at the drags, um, which we'll bring that to you. Uh, that's not in a couple of weeks, isn't it? 23rd, I think. Is that right? 
Yeah, yeah, I think it is. So, if you're local, get out there on the 23rd and come and have a crack, have a run against the state, eh? I don't mind, you probably blow the doors off me. Many have, haven't they, Mick? Yeah, yeah. Jared? <laughs> Kane? <laughs> Got a very, one, I want to line his all back up. So come back out and uh, everybody come out and see us on the 23rd. Uh, out at the Sunset Strip at the Davison Motor Group Summer Series um, Drag Challenge. Is it? What is it? Something like that. <laughs> so get out there if you're local. Even if you want to come up from away, it's a good night. Um, and come up and meet us and, and have a run. Alrighty. As I said, that's kind of going to do it for this episode. Thank you, Mick, for coming out and giving us a hand. Uh, and thanks for everybody coming along and watching. If you want to chuck a comment up, tell us what you think. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please jump on and subscribe, hit the bell, share with your friends, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>